Hello all, in this video we will see how to use GSM motor control single phase board with uh, DOL starter. This uh, GSM motor control boards are uh, manufactured by uh, NSK Electronics Bangalore. On the back side of the board there is a SIM slot where you can insert a valid SIM. Geo SIM are not supported as they are 4G. You can place a valid SIM and insert it on the into the slot. The board requires a power source of 12 volt DC or 12 volt AC. You can use a 12 volt transformer or a DC adapter. Uh, the board is also supplied with a cabinet. You can purchase uh, with cabinet or without cabinet only board. A stub antenna is provided along with the board. This is the DOL starter direct online starter single phase 220 volt it has got two buttons green button to start and the red button to stop if you open the starter you can see two portions the top portion is the oil that is overload overload relay portion and the bottom is the actual contactor which handles more current the input ac the phase and neutral is provided to the oil relay oil relay and it passes safely the current to the coil of the contactor the oil relay has got two contacts one nc contact for the red button and one no contact for the green button if you place the multimeter you can uh, check up the nc contact of the red button the nc contact is always closed and if you press the red button it breaks at the right hand side that is the no contact for the green button if you press the button green button it will make So the oil relay has got two contacts, NO and NC. Now let us see the connection between the GSM board and the uh, starter. On the GSM board we have got two relays. One is the on relay and another one is the off relay. Both these relays will operate temporarily and then switch off automatically. Just like uh, pressing the bu button of starter. So the on relay has got uh, uh, three contacts we will be using the no and common of the on relay gsm's uh, start relay that is called start relay the start relay contact that is no and common goes across that is in parallel to the uh, green button contact now the red button contact of starter you have to uh, remove one wire of the nc of uh, red button any one wire you can remove just remove that uh, one wire and place the NC and common of uh, GSM stop relay off relay contact that is you are placing this contact in series to the uh, to that of the red button contact of starter so the NC is always maintained only when the red button is pressed or when the off relay operates from the GSM the circuit breaks so this is the concept the NC should be always uh, NC and only when the red button uh, is pressed it will be uh, it will break use proper insulation after doing the connections so start relay contact in parallel and uh, stop relay contact in series this is the actual connection we have done uh, to the DOL that is the direct online starter the direct online starter has got uh, uh, two portions the one portion top portion is the OL relay overload overload relay uh, phase and neutral of uh, input AC is connected that is 220 volt uh, input and it has got uh, two contacts one is the one is for uh, red button that is the normally closed uh, contact and one is for the uh, green button that is normally open contact if you press the green button the no will uh, uh, make and if you press the red button the nc will break and the lower portion is the actual contactor po portion it has got a coil uh, that is 220 volt coil and uh, the output uh, the, and it makes uh, contact to the motor output is the motor
the neutral of uh, uh, input is connected to one end of the coil and the other end of the coil goes to the nc contact of the red button so uh, one end of nc contact and one end of no contact are uh, lobed and uh, face is connected to the no contact of the uh, green button these connections you need not do it is already done inside the starter so when you press the red button the circuit breaks and when you press the green button the circuit is made and uh, the motor is on we'll uh, simulate this condition using the start and stop relay of gsm board the start relay of uh, gsm board we'll be using the no and the common uh, contact this uh, no and common contact goes across the uh, green button of the uh, starter just connect it across the no button of the starter and the stop relay will be using the nc and common uh, common contact you have to remove one wire any one wire of the nc of uh, starter you just break that wire and connect the nc and common in between that is you are placing that uh, uh, stop relay contact in between that uh, in series you can make use of uh, any of the wire of the nc the idea is it should be placed in series so that it will be always uh, in closed condition only when the relay operates it will break provide the dc supply to the gsm board and watch out for the network led the network led will be steady when network is received provide the ac supply to the starter and connect the motor motor to the output of the starter these are the uh, relay connections between uh, gsm uh, board and starter now when you press the uh, red button uh, that is uh, now when you press the green button here the motor will start and when you press the red button the motor will stop this is the on off condition now let us control it from a mobile this is the master mobile from master mobile you just send a capital c to the sim number on the gsm board the commands are made easy just you have to send c now it will you will get a confirmation that the number is stored your master mobile number is stored after getting confirmation send sms 1 to the number on the uh, sim uh, which is on the gsm board or you can make a call both will uh, make the motor on and you get a confirmation from the uh, sim on gsm board as pump is on to make it off you send sms to to will make the motor off to know the status you send sms sts now the pump is off so you get the status uh, result once the message is delivered you get back the uh, status pump is off and auto mode is off and on mode is uh, uh, off you can operate in on mode or uh, all mode just by sending uh, the commands are made so simple just by sending a one the motor is on and by sending uh, two the motor will be off as soon as you send one you will get uh, the motor will be on and you get a pump on reply from the sim and as soon as you send two the motor will be off and you get a, a reply pump off thank you for watching